The London Theatre Cast. Friends of official London theatre.co.uk. In the spotlight. Transferring to the novella with, with Spring Awakening. Yes. How are you feeling about it? Completely overwhelmed at the moment. First time I've ever stepped foot inside the theatre, so completely overwhelming, if I'm honest. And I don't, it doesn't quite feel real. It's very different from the lyric, obviously, because it's so much bigger and it's right in the middle of town and it's huge for, for me and everyone in the cast, really. It's a dream, yeah. Cool. So when you did it at the, the Lyric Hammersmith, mm. just finished a week ago? Two weeks yeah, ago? Saturday. Just cool. gone, yeah. That was your professional stage debut. Yeah, yeah. So how did you feel make, making your debut in, in a show with so much, um, so much expectation behind um, it? It was, well... I mean, I'd seen it prior to auditioning, mm. like just on a whim. I didn't even know I was auditioning at the point at the time. And uh, when I got the audition, I was just like, oh my god, when they got the role, I was like, oh my god, this is huge. And then as soon as we got in rehearsals and saw the set for the first time and got going, it was just like a dream. Like, like honestly, it's one of the best shows that I could ever wish to start on, ever. Even if I, even if you know, I never go on to do anything else, I've done Spring Awakening and that's means more than me to any, than anything so yeah now the show itself um tackles some some quite heavy themes <laughs> yeah it's yeah. it's not laugh a minute in in no. what it tackles so is it hard to to do that night in night out well it's difficult obviously because you know i've never done anything before and i've never trained so you know I, i've not done that in my training at all i mean you know i've just come out of fresh out of high school and not even finished my high school you know tuition yet and i think but the, the amount of trust that all the cast have in each other and the support network between us all because we're all like a family now you know on stage off stage crew everything and it's just been they've been so supportive of, of, of me and an iron especially because of the content and um it's just completely you know com i'm completely comfortable with it then to bring it to audiences is, is obviously different to do it on stage and um and be surrounded by an audience when we did it in rehearsal it was you know just us and the director and and then when you put it on the stage it's you know it's a different feeling but it's um I'm completely comfortable with it now, and and and, it, and it's just you know an everyday occurrence in the show. So yeah. The London Theatre Cast. Did, Did you, you write, write this? this? Yes. And the show's had great audience mm. response. Had great reviews. Yeah, it's really nice to have people come up and and really appreciate the work that you do because obviously I, you know it's nothing I've ever experienced before, and to have you know journalists write great things about something you're so passionate about is is great, and to get five stars virtually across the board, you know doesn't happen very often really <laughs> you know they're quite harsh um some journalists and we've managed to you know capture the hearts of people who maybe don't go to the theater all the time you know in the lyric they had a good education but um background at the lyric so they we'd have our wednesday matinee would be for schools in the area to come and watch it and 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 loads of the the the, the people that came to see the show from schools had never maybe never been to the theater and so it was an eye-opener, really, and, and, and if, it, if, it brings, if it brings young people into the theatre, then that's, we've achieved our goal, really. And to, to have them think, you know, someone our age can go and achieve their dreams and be in something so brilliant, then, then that's, you know, if, we, if we've not done anything, we've inspired people, so that's great. Yeah. And you've got, of course, the, um, the cheap ticket scheme here as yeah. well, so to, to again, get, yeah. get young... And I think that's gonna, that work's going to work in our favour a lot, because it will get people into the theatre. And if, it's, if they're going to go anywhere, they've got to come see Spring Awakening. And if... I mean, I'm biased because I'm in it, but, you know, you know, to, for people to be able to come to the theatre and know that they'll be able to afford it and enjoy themselves and know that it's good entertainment is brilliant, so yeah. Lastly, what, what do you think, obviously we've spoken about how popular it's been, yeah. what do you think it is about the show that, that makes it so popular? Well, I think, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the, I think the music is a big part, plays a big part in its, you know, um, in, it, in, in its success because it's so so much of a contrast to the story because you know the, the story is set in the 1800s and the music is completely modern and, and I think the fact that we, we pull out hand mics and it's just that it you know the story may you know attract some people because maybe people know the play but then the music attracts a different type of audience so we're, we're basically pleasing everyone of all ages and and I think this show we, will appeal because we're normal kids just normal people not you know, pushed up on a pedestal. We're like, this is us. If you want to see it, come and see it and enjoy it. If you don't, that's fine. But, you know, I just think it appeals to everyone and, and that's what you need for a show in London. I think it's, it's what London needs in terms of in terms of theatre, so yeah. Charlotte, thank you so much for thank coming you. to talk to us today. Thank you very much.
The London Theatre Cast.